Uh, my name is John Langmore, and I'm a local photographer. The work here is um, entitled Fault Line. It's about a year and a half project I've worked on photographing and documenting East Austin from the river to Martin Luther King Boulevard and back to Airport Boulevard. And on display here at the Mexican American Cultural Center are 28 of the images from this work. That's what we're going to talk about and go through today. This picture is, um, you know, really if you look at this and you know Austin at all, you know that this is East Austin. Um, one is because dogs are a big part of the East Side and even that breed of dog are popular, is a popular breed of dog. And the um, statue of Mary is the, the uh, the yard art and generally with a religious theme is very common in East Austin and I think probably even more important is the chain link fence. And on, on the one hand the chain link fence is inexpensive and I think that accounts for its widespread use but I, also it is definitely um, a function of the fact that you can see in a chain link fence and you can see out a chain link fence and it creates a sense of community it's also only about four feet high so you can talk across it very easily. You know here the father and son are hanging out at the garage while their car is being worked on and you really don't see that west of I-35 in West Austin people drop their car off and they get out. They certainly don't um, stop and buy ice cream on the street from the street vendor and hang out while their car is being worked on, you know, father and son eating popsicles. And it's commonplace in East Austin. And then also you can see in the garage they fly the Mexican flag, the American flag, and the Texas flag. Uh, again, it's, it's um, you know, that's that's the community that's developed there and I think it's just telling about um, how they feel about things. They're, they're proud of their um, Mexican roots and they're also proud of um, where they live today. This little boy was having his birthday party and you know again I think this is just so indicative of the rich culture that the when it's gone or when it's dramatically changed from what it is today, when it's not as concentrated as it is today that we're going to lament this loss, we being people in Austin, it's, it's an important part of our history and it's, it's beautiful. Um, there's just no getting around the fact that you know, someone that dresses up their son that way for a birthday celebration, that's special. Um, and, you, you know, of course, they're, they're breaking the piñata, which a lot of people do, but it's part of their tradition, and um, it, 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 it's just going to be painful w when we don't have this to the same extent that we do today. It's um, just it's a very poignant and a very... Uh, beautiful culture.